Yo, it's Grow Bio. Grant Goldner, Shane Bolin, coming at you with the latest in bio materials. Let's put our faces right in the camera. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's all. Is that covered under the warranty? I should have shaved. <laughs> This week on Grow Bio. Yesterday we blew up Instagram when we launched the new Grow.Bio Bio brick form. And today we're happy to tell you it's finally for sale on our site. Check out the link somewhere on this screen. Didn't see that coming. We spent the last week working on the 3D file, laser cutting a baseboard so that you know it's recyclable. CNCing seeing out the shape of the form out of wood and then thermoforming it out of plastic. Check it out. So Shane, what did we do with it? Uh, we took these, filled them with material, the hemp material, threw some test bricks, which we'll show you, and we took some of the bricks and left them separate, and then we took other bricks and grew them together. So the great thing about these mycelium bricks is, while they're still alive, if you stack one brick on top of each other and let them grow, they'll grow right into each other. You don't need mortar, you don't need any kind of adhesive. Uh, the bricks will just grow together, and then you can dry them. Uh, I think that's pretty fantastic. It's pretty fantastic. You can build a wall, you don't need any mortar. You just stack some bricks on top of each other and watch it grow. Hashtag build the wall, keep all the plastic out. This past week, we've also been doing some great research on how to make hard panels and hard surfaces. So we're going to start in coming days by growing mycelium into wood. We're going to also try doing hemp mats that are similar to felt. And um, in the weeks coming, we're going to try some fun things like carbon fiber, um, aluminum, glass, ceramic. We're going to try a lot of different materials to help you figure out what would be the best hard surface that you can produce for different functional applications. So stay tuned for that. So for all the teachers and educators out there, check out our new educators page. This page contains a lot of information on frequently asked questions that we get from schools, such as, um, oh, how soon do I have to order the material in order to get it to arrive on this date? Right. Yep. Will some of my children be allergic to this material? That's a good, yeah, safety concerns. Uh, things like, how do I store this material and how long will it last? What is the shelf life? So for all the educators out there, check out the new educators page. And if there are any things that you don't see on that page, any questions you want answered, let us know and we will add it to that page. Yeah. Awesome. You're, you're awesome. Next week in Grow Bio. Yeah, we're on a roll today. Yeah, dude. We have a lot of customers who ask us about growing insulation panels, large wall panels, and things like that. If you watched last week's video, we started making the growth form for a large panel that we're going to test out growing. So we took a sheet of corrugated plastic, we scored the sides, folded up the sides, and then used some good old duct tape to bind it all together. And next week, we will be filling this with the hemp mycelium material and then watching it grow. It'll take about three to four days to grow and another one or two days to dry. So we're gonna start on this as quick as possible and hopefully we'll be able to show you the finished wall panel by next week's video. And that way you'll be able to do it at home. Yeah, that way you'll be able to grow your own large wall panels at home. You'll be able to grow things like tiny house insulation. It's going to be a game changer. Yeah. We're going to change that game. Yep. This next one is something I'm very excited about. I'm excited too. Yeah? Yeah. I think we're all, we're both pretty excited about this Mutually one. Mutually excited. So we've been doing these community updates each week, but somebody pointed out to us this week that, that a community isn't you know, Grant and Shane talking at you. A community is you talking with you, many and many. Um, so we're looking to put together a community page on the site. It's going to be a type of discussion, forum, knowledge base, hybrid, and it'll be a place for you to share your projects, uh, discuss with one another, ask questions, answer each other's questions. Get feedback. Get feedback on your projects. Get feedback. Get feedback on your projects twice. Um, I mean, I'm excited to see designers talking with biologists and material science people talking with designers and everybody just working together to create some really awesome projects. That's right. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. Tune in next time. Tune the dial. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be working on that this week and it'll be out next week.
here we go. Now I have to finish it by next week. In last week's video, we gave away a free mycelium bear to, who was it, Justin and Nelson. And then we said, if anyone wants to win this third bear, leave a comment. And nobody really left a comment. What's up, YouTube? Come on, guys. This is the community. We just talked about this. So, to get back at you guys, we're going to light that bear on fire. Who's going to film us? I'm going to film. You can do the lighting. Yes! Yeah, I know. Yes! Merry Christmas. Yes! Do it. it. Looks good. This is what happens when you don't comment on our YouTube videos. 